but if they'll come off of that even a little bit, like not like that, but like that, give it back to him, and and then draw till the till he pivots on the front feet. Now to start with, I don't care if they pivot on the front feet. I don't care if they pivot on the hind feet. I don't care if they turn like a Coke bottle in the middle. I just want them to show up on this side and then I'll give them some petting. And they usually always lick their lips when they make it over here. And, I, and the way I would do this is I wouldn't consider changing directions till they had it pretty good going one direction and then get it pretty good going the other direction. When you change directions, it's obviously they're going to be a little confused, but I hang in there till they're getting it the other way, and then I might do 10 times one direction, and I don't ever count it, I don't count, but when they're getting it, change directions until they're getting it on the other side, keep switching back until, and it might take a little bit, when I say a little bit, it might take, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes all together, to where I can put it one time clockwise, one time counterclockwise, and they're pivoting on their hindquarters. Like when you first start to do it, if they just can't get it, then it doesn't bother me at all to compromise. And if I need to, off this shoulder, if I need to, clear off their ribs, if I need to, clear off over this hip, and if I need to, stand right behind them and help them so they only got to make a half turn before they have relief. And I started enough horses to know what my horses might feel like on their third ride. Since I've been doing this, my horses on the first ride feel way more like they used to on the third ride. 